Welcome! In this video I'll talk about localizations in Strapi. I'll show you how you can configure the Strapi internationalization plugin, how you can localize content items and enable localization for content types and finally I'll show you how you can retrieve localized data with the RESTful API. Alright, to start I have created an empty Strapi instance with create Strapi app. It's completely empty, I just bootstrapped it and only created the admin user. To use localized content types in Strapi, we will be using the Strapi internationalization plugin, which is built in by default since version 4. If we go to plugins, you see that it's already included with the default installation. This plugin has only one a few settings. If we go to settings, it's in, the section is in global settings, internationalization, and here the only thing we set up are the wokeos to which we can internationalize our site. I can add a new wokeo here because we only have the English EN default. Let's add some. Here we have the list of available wokeos. This should include all. Let's say I want to add German. There we go. Select it. Uh, you will notice I can choose a custom display name although I'm not sure how useful that will be. Um, I can imagine that would be useful if your site is not in English and you want to use the localized names for languages in your specific language. For example, if you want all languages and their display names to be in German, that would be a use case for this Wokeo display name field. Anyways, to add a new Wokeo, just choose the appropriate Wokeo and click Save. And here we have it. Of course, in this internationalization section, we can also choose the default Wokeo, which by default is English. I'll leave it like this. And now we have a second Wokeo. Let's create a content type in order to see how localization would work. I'll create a new collection, products, all of these single types and collections. Uh, the localization works the same way, the same principles apply. So I'll just create a collection called products. Here, notice that in advanced settings, I have to enable international internationalization per module. By default, it's not enabled. I I'll actually not check this to see that it's not available, even though we added German. So let's continue. I'll just add one field and I'll call that field title. We don't need much for the demo. Now my products collection is being created. The server restarted and here's my collection. Let's add a new product. I'll call it laptop save and publish it. As you can see, I have no vocalization options. If I go back to the content type builder and go to edit, I can now go to advanced settings and check that internationalization checkbox. Now the server will restart again as we're making changes to the content type. And if I go back now, I have the vocalization options. First, on the right, I have a drop down with all of my vocals. This will change the entire list view. If I go to German, it will show me all of the German products. If we have other languages as well, that would work, that would work in an equivalent matter. Right now, we only have one English product and that product, as you can see, for each product, we have content available in and I can see the versions of that specific English item if there are any. So right now I can localize this laptop item in German. To do so, I'll go to edit, chaos, and create a new German one. As you can see, the English one is green because it's active and created. If I go to the German one, I'll just say laptop, uh, German laptop for title, and save and publish that. Now we have the German and the English versions of this item. If I go back to the list view, here we have it. We see content available in English default and German. And I can switch between the two and I can edit each one. If I go to the German items, I see the German laptop. And if I list the English items, I see the English one. Notice that the English item has an ID one. The German item has an ID two. So even though these are language versions of the same item, they are related by that. They represent the same item. Still, they are separate entities in the database. So this product is ID two and the English item is ID one. That's of course natural because they have different values for each one of their fields, but it's something to mention that uh, items are handled as separate entities in the database. All right, so how do we retrieve these items? Let's see. 
I'm talking about the API, of course. I'm gonna make get requests, so I'll do that in the browser directly. Of course, we have to hit API products because this is the name of my collection type. And I get a forbidden error because of course this is a brand new Strapi instance and I'm an unauthenticated user. So for the demo, I will go to the settings, users and permissions, plugin roles, go to the public role and for unauthenticated users, allow the retrieval of products, which means find and find one. Now, if I refresh, I'll be able to retrieve my products. All right, let's go back to the content manager. So I hit API products to list all products. And by default, you can see that I get my English item and its ID. Now notice I don't get the German items. If I populate all fields, just to check what will be shown, I get a few other fields, more specifically this localizations property in the attributes of the item itself. And here, I see another item. We have an array data and all other related localized items of this product, which in this case is the item with ID2, which is the German translation of product. Notice that we have to populate that field. I have populated all, um, all fields at level one, but I can also populate localizations specifically, and that would also retrieve the same thing. Something else I can do, is to retrieve by this Wokeo property. I can say Wokeo equal to German. And now I only get my German items, which in this case is just the product with ID2. If we talk about individual items, of course, I have to retrieve them by ID. So if I retrieve ID1 without populating, I just get the item and it's Wokeo. If I retrieve ID2, I of course again get the German item. Now, Sorry, if I populate each item, I again get this localizations object where I can see the IDs of the other language versions of this item. So that's basically how you work with localizations in Strapi. You enable them for each content type, you add Wokeos in the settings panel for each one of the languages you would need. And after that, you can retrieve the specific versions and Wokeos you need with the RESTful API. With this, I'll wrap today's video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when the next video is released. Take care.